Today, let's look at the, uh, the G by freefall unit that we produce. Uh, this is a very, very simple unit. Uh, there's no power required. Uh, let's have a look at what you get in the kit. Uh, there is a release unit here, which drops the ball bearing, which is also supplied. And you get a trapdoor unit for catching the ball at the bottom of its fall. Both of these are simple switches. This one breaks a circuit as soon as it's released, drops the ball bearing. And this one will either break or make a circuit, depending on what you choose, when the ball bearing drops and triggers the trapdoor. So let's have a look at that in action, shall we? You're going to need a millisecond timer. This is one of ours that we'll feature in a later video. You're going to need a retort stand and some connecting leads. And that's it. So we'll mount our release unit here. Trap our ball bearing in the ears and make sure we're lined up over our trapdoor. Good. Now, we're going to want timing to start when this is released. So we're going to connect our timer, start to the release unit. Full instructions for this wiring are supplied in the unit and with a timer. And we're going to want timing to stop when we hit the bottom. So we'll connect the bottom unit to the stop input. On that and one there. Okay, so we're all ready to go. Set the trap door, ball bearings in place. Let's have some power to the timer. There we go. So, what's going to happen? We're going to squeeze these together. It'll break a circuit, start timing. Ball bearing will fall, hit the trap door. That will break a circuit and stop the timing, and we'll have a measurement or time taken. There we go. There we go. 0.236 milliseconds. 0.236 seconds, 236 milliseconds. We can reset and try again. Point two three nine this time, so pretty close. Now obviously you can measure the height here, um, take a set of readings for H or S. You'll have a set of readings for time taken and using an equations of motion, you can calculate the value for G. Got the cells G by 3-4 unit. Thanks for watching.